How you doing guys? I'm Sean. Welcome to Rambles with my camera. Guys, today's ramble. Today's video. I'm going to be talking about photo critiques. Me offering feedback to your photography. Now, I made a video, it must be about two and a half months ago, where I was talking about that um, people were sending me photographs through private messages and links to their Facebook page and their Flickr pages and their uh, Instagram, etc, etc. And they were asking me to have a look and tell me, tell them what I thought of their photography. And I got this stage was, and I mentioned in the previous video, uh, two and a half months ago, that I was feeling overwhelmed by the amount of time, the logistics of doing that, because I have very, very little time um, spur. And when I was getting into a conversation with people, and they were well-meaning, no question about it, and so was I, but it was getting backwards and forward. Well, what do you think about this photograph? What do you think of that? And it was getting to the stage that, you know, I spent so much time uh, replying back to the person. I said, look, you know, maybe we can come up with this idea that I'll start to do critiques online here, or, sorry, online on the video channel. And that way, everybody can have a look at the photograph. Maybe somebody gets some tips. And also, you guys could share your opinion with the person, the photographer, who sent their photographs in. Now, probably about five of you sent photographs or links to photographs and your, your channels and things like that to have a wee look at it. And I've made three videos um, off you guys. And, you know, the average video was talking about 20 minutes to 30 minutes long because, to say, there's about four photographs, five photographs, etc. And the reason why I haven't put them up, and I was, I was wondering why I wasn't putting them up, there's something inside me was saying, no, don't do this. And I think that I've had a sit and I thought about it. What is a problem with it? It's ego. And, you know, I've always tried to keep the ego under control. And I think we all have an ego. There's something wrong with it if we haven't got an ego. I know it's like a, the utopia that uh, people want to live in, that there's no ego. But we all have an ego. It's as simple as that. We all have an opinion about ourselves and we like to think that we, you know, we know stuff. Um, when I'm looking at somebody else's photographs, I feel a bit uncomfortable with saying what my opinion is of it. I'm a very opinionated person, as you gather, or wouldn't have this channel. And if any of you know me in the physical sense and meet me in the reality, you know, I've got, a, I've got an opinion about everything. Let's put it that way. And I've always been that way. I've always been a talking machine. But when it comes to actually critiquing other people's work, other photographers' work, I'm saying to myself, like, who the fuck am I, like, in reality, to turn around and give my opinion to somebody else? Now, even though that person's asked that opinion, well, that gives me enough right then to answer that person. But it's got this stage now I'm looking at and I'm going, well, no, I certainly have got experience taking photographs. I've experienced different, different genres of photography. And I can give an opinion on it. And I can share my observations about a person's photograph or photography but it was getting to the stage guys that i didn't like to where i was where i was putting myself into the ego that i was sitting going oh my, my opinion is, is matters here and i think all our opinions matter and none of us none of our opinions matter any more or any less than anybody else and i'm feeling very uncomfortable about doing these videos about critiquing people's work. Now, a lot of you have become personal friends of mine as a result of the channel. And we, we correspond and we keep in touch and we go and do street photography together. And I think in that context, it's good for friends to say, you know what, maybe that photograph uh, would work. And, you know, a great friend I've, I've made, that, like my soul brother here online, is Sherd Lammers over in the Netherlands and sure came over to Ireland and we done a walkabout and we done some street photography and we became great friends as a result of the channel. Uh, blessed to have his friendship and his thing. And we would exchange photographs for each other. And sure would say to me, oh that photograph or maybe check that out and I'd say the same to him. And I think that's good between two people. It's good between friends. But I don't I don't want to do it for this channel because I don't want to get sidetracked. But more importantly I don't want people to sit and think in any shape or form that um, because I say something to them about their photography has any weight whatsoever. It doesn't. It's just my opinion. And although I'll share my opinion and I like to think I do it from the heart and I'll offer an opinion or an observation about a particular photograph or a style or maybe you could do this and that. And it's just not my bag. It's just I don't want to do it. So I'm going to put a stop to it now rather bullshitting 
and putting videos up. And I've got three, I took a lot of time to do them and I put a lot of uh, thought into the photography and the things like that. But I keep listening back to them and it's your turn I say no. Um, even if the person's asked for the, my opinion, it just doesn't sit right for me. It's hard to explain, but it's all down to the ego aspect of it. I'm just a guy with a camera. And as I've always said, I'm just capturing the present. Those in the future can look back at the past. I genuinely believe that we're all important. We're all capturing photographs. And we've got the possibility and the potential to capture photographs. So people in the future are going to look back and get some value from it. And all I want to do is just grow this channel. And follow me on this journey. Like I'm using this Nikon D3300. Got it a year ago. It was like a million quid when I got it. I think it was 500 pound, 500 euros to buy. But that 500 euros took me six months to get the money up to purchase it. It's like a million quid to me. Not because of monetary value, but because it's opened up my whole world. Now, if I listen to other people, and especially the YouTube gurus, the photography gurus, when they're describing the Nikon D3300, it's an anti-level camera. Sometimes even I, me, thick-skinned Sean here, even sometimes I get a bit pissed off with it because I think myself, fucking Andrew level. Andrew level what? It's because they're comparing it to value, they're comparing it to prices, they're comparing it to the next gadget up or the next size up or the, you know, the next brand. And I think photography has got too wrapped up in gear. It's got too wrapped up in, you know, people looking perfection or people looking to get everything perfect. And to me, it's not what photography is about. Photography is about doing our best and taking that photograph and looking at it on our computer screen or going to get prints done and looking at that print and getting excited about it and go, fucking hell, I got that shot. Look at that, I'm excited about that. And that's a moment I want to capture. And that's a moment I want you to capture. And I've seen it that somebody who would be one minute feeling that they've got that great shot and I've seen it online, like, they've got that great shot and they're looking, they're so excited and they're patting themselves in the back. They love that photograph. And they offer that somebody else's opinion. And that person doesn't get it. Lighting's not right. Compensation maybe moved it across a bit. What aperture had you got on it there? Maybe if you had a wee bit more depth of field, you could have pulled that in. Look at that over there. That, And that person goes from feeling like top of the world till feeling that, you know, their bubble has been burst. And I don't want to be taking part in it. And I don't want this channel to be taking part in it. I want to empower and inspire people and say, you know what? This fucking idiot here, after 12 year break from photography, can get back out there again, taking photographs, enjoying it uh, more than this channel or this video could ever tell you. Uh, it's not about the camera gear, it's not about my photographs. It's not even about, and I've said this before, it's not about whether you like the photographs or like the videos or like me. And that's fantastic and I embrace that and I welcome that. But it's no different to me if somebody says, Sean, your photographs are shit. Or somebody says, Sean, your photographs are absolutely amazing. To me, I look at both of them the exact same. Obviously, the person who's been rude or crude, I look on them as differently. But I have to look at those two extremes in the one in the one way because to pick one just say, oh, I only want to look for the good comments, then I give my power away till being praised. If I look too much the negative, then I give my power away too much to being like, ridiculed. And people stop taking photographs as a result of that. So guys, to round this up and I apologize, I'll be sending every one of you a message who have sent me photographs or links to your photographs. Um, hopefully you see this video, but I just want to let you know that that's where I stand with this and I've given it good thoughts over two months ago um, and I was just about to upload one of the videos today and I thought about it and I said no. I wanted to go out and take photographs and don't be giving your power away to tell people to give you constructive uh, criticism or feedback or critiques um, because sometimes you'll be giving your enjoyment away. And by all means, I'm always open for people to criticize and critique and to give me constructive criticism and feedback for my work. 
but because somebody gives me something doesn't matter i don't have to necessarily hold on to it i take it in i digest it i look and see if you're if you've got a point if you've got a point i'll certainly change it if it doesn't resonate with me then i don't change it and that's a simple thing and i'll ask you to do the same now you can become dogmatic but if you're having fun with your photography that's all that matters you shouldn't really be worrying about what other people think of your work unless you're being paid for them to be on a commission guys i'll wrap this up uh sending you love from ireland and thanks again for watching if you haven't already done so please do subscribe check me out uh on twitter and facebook and flickr uh, my website all the links are down below and thanks again for watching and remember that uh it's not really about what other people think of your work it's what you think of your work and you know get out there and have fun with it get enjoy with it and just watch you don't let anybody burst your bubble sending you love from ireland